And don't please don't put to us put us to humiliation on the day of judgment. In the kala tukleful miyad, verily, you are not going to break your promise. You are not going to go back on your promise. What we fear is that we might not prove to be equal to your promises. So that is the fear that we have. We don't fear that you will go back on your promise. In the kala tukleful miyad. All we fear is we might not come up to that mark. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by your grace, by your forgiveness, by your mercy. So you condone our mistakes and our shortcomings and include us among those, among writers. Now look to it. Just compare it to the last section of Surah Al-Baqarah. A very long month ayah, very long dua prayer. Rabbana la tuakhizna in nasina waqtana. Rabbana wala tahmil alayna islan kama hamaltahu ala lazina min qablina. Rabbana wala tuhammilna ma la taqat ala labi. Il al-akhir, to the end of the ayah. Now here you find three ayat of that of prayer. So there is the similarity. This surah is also ending with a very big prayer. Very profound prayer indeed. Their Lord accepted their prayer, granted their prayer. May Allah include us among them. Now in this ayah, you know, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is giving a picture of the character of the true Muslims at that time. Who were they? Who were praying to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? We also do pray. But who are we? We should compare ourselves to those. The words might be the same. I might be repeating the same of the words of this prayer. But you know all the difference lies in who is praying. What is his own character? What is his own contribution? What is the proof of his own sincerity to Allah? Now this prayer, The moment the prayer came out of their lips, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala granted it. I am not going to waste any deed of anyone who is committing good deeds, doing good deeds, whether he be a male or whether she be a female. In Zakari Naunsa, there's no difference. Moral, moral level, men, women equal. Spiritual level, men, women equal. As human beings, human dignity shared equally by men and women. There's no difference whatsoever. Min zakarina unsa, You are from each other. Daughter and son, from the same father. Both from the womb of the same mother. How can be there any difference between them? How can the, the son be superior to, 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 to daughter? One father, one mother. Both developed in the same womb. From the sperm of the same human individual. So, you are from among each other. So, whether be a male or a female, whosoever commits any good deed, I am not going to make his good deed go in vain. But what to speak of those? Falladina hajaru. Those who immigrated. Who did hijrah. And they were turned out from their from homes, expelled from their homes. Who were tortured due to me, due to my deen, who were persecuted in my way. And they went to fight for me, for my deen, to the battlefield. And they laid down their lives. They were slain. Now these are the highest deeds. 
These are the good deeds of the highest order. What to speak of them? Law kafiranahum sayyatihim. About such people, I will definitely blot out their mis mis uh, mistakes or errors from their record. While Aud khilanahum jannat in tajri min taqin alhar, and definitely and surely, without any doubt, I will make them enter the the gardens under which underneath which. The rivers will be flowing. Sawab amin in Allah, and this will be going. This is going to be a reward from Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. Wallahu indahu hatmu sawab, and actually it is only with Allah that He has the real good reward to give. Who can reward you? You have devoted all your life for your sons and daughters. Can they give you the reward? You spent everything. You spent everything for them. Invest in yourself, in your progeny. What reward will they give you? You have done something for for country. You know, in the history of Britain, there was a minister who worked how more of his life for the king. But in his old age, the king, you know, he put him in the prison. And the word, you know, very beautiful word. Had I served God the way I served the king, he would not have forsaken me in this old age of mine. But this is the anguish. This is the hasra. You have spent everything. You have invested yourself, your family. It's only Allah who can give you the fullest reward of whatever you do for Him. Nobody has anything to reward. What reward will they be able to give you? It's only the alone. Wallahu in the who husnu sabab. This is husnu be hasr. It is only Allah with whom there is the good sabab, the good reward. If you have lived for anybody else, He will not be able to give you any reward. فاستجاب لهم ربهم أني لا أضيع عمل عامل منكم الله granted their prayer that I don't you know go let the any good deed of any male or female go in vain howsoever small it might be so what to speak of those who made hijra in my cause who were expelled from their homes and hearts who were persecuted in my way for my deen Who went to battlefield for my glory, for Takbir Rab, to make my world supreme? Let the Quran and the Matulah hear Oliya, and even laid down their lives. I will definitely blot out all their mistakes, all their shortcomings. I will definitely make them enter the heaven, the garden underneath which rivers will be flowing. And this is going to be reward from Allah. Sabab amin in Allah. Wallahu in the house with sabab. Now these, you know, this is actually a very precious part of the Quran. Synthesis of Iman. And when there is real synthesis, what character will come out of it? If real Iman is there, the character will be. Falladina hajaru, akhriju min diari, wauzu fi sabili, wakatalu akutil. They will never spare anything from Allah's cause. They will dedicate everything, and they will be ready to sacrifice everything for the cause of Allah.